Henry had demonstrated on the White House lawn in his day in college. I had demonstrated in Birmingham when they wouldn't let us sit in the same section of the um, church with, uh, the auditorium with uh, Eleanor Roosevelt. We had to go to the segregated part, and of course I knew Ms. Roosevelt did not want that, but we had to sit in the segregated part. So we demonstrated. I was among the leaders. I also went to a store in Birmingham where uh, I was buying some house shoes for my professor. And I sat down in the seats, you know, on the chairs waiting to wait on me. And the man, the um, salesman told me I had to move. You can't sit there. I said, is there something wrong with the seat? Is it broken or something? No, you blacks don't need to be. Oh, so I said, I'm sorry, but I'm very comfortable. Can I just wait here for my package? When the young woman came down, I had not moved. <laughs> my sister was in the store with me because we'd gone down there for a rally. And she ran far away from me. <laughs> not going to get involved with Ella. She's acting up. <laughs> it sounds like you did that a fair amount. <laughs> oh, I, I did. I did what, whatever I could. But in my own way. I never raised my voice. I never acted as if I were angry. I would say, but you see, I'm comfortable here in this chair. <laughs> oh, I needed to go to the restroom. And they told me that the restroom of the college was down about a block away. This was in, uh, I think it was in Selma, Alabama. And I said, uh, I'm sorry, but I cannot walk that far. And so the clerk says, but you have to. I said, you don't want a puddle in the middle of the floor, do you? I opened the door and I went in. Um, you don't. You don't control biological activities in your body. Please understand. And I said it just like that. <laughs>